So again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Springfield, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have strange objects. This is the lid to something. I could probably use that for a smaller piece. This is a early girl or similar lettuce lid. And I'm going to put some white paint in there. I'd actually like to put some black paint in there, but I think white paint is going to have to be this time. I'm going to coat my canvas with a layer of black paint that I need to be kind of wet. I think I'm going to make myself up a dish of colors. A cup of colors. Oh, those are not open. I remember now. And I grabbed some. I had a stack. <laughs> And the one color I know will sell like a cell accelerator is the golden magenta. What else? I like this white metallic from Anita's. I'm just going to keep using colors, and that's a Prussian blue. I don't know what brand that is. Could be any of them. They're all, they all come in tubes. There's nothing liquid. So until I see that I need another color, that'll, that'll have to do. Let's get on with my project. That is an OXO omelet turning spatula, and that is my turntable I almost dumped my cup over. I'm going to take my time for a minute so I don't have to take, so I don't have to go around 46 times again. Got a nice heavy layer of paint, which is what I want, even though it's a hot day. The sun has just gone under a cloud. Yay! I know that sounds weird. You guys have been waiting for spring a while and it's finally finally coming just gonna see where I've got a heavy layer of paint and move it there if you if you use these to prime canvases and you're fast enough even these marks will settle out because I use Floetrol and it's a leveler the Floetrol in my paint pouring mixture is a leveler and the deco art pouring medium that I add to it is a cell creator. It also has some gloss to it, which is good because the flow trowel is very matte. All right, so I'm gonna throw that in the bucket. Now, I didn't really leave myself room to do what I wanna do, so I'm gonna try and move that forward. I'm gonna take some paint. Now I wanna pour out of this side, and I don't think, I did shake that, and it didn't wind up in my face this time. I am going to try to float some of this on the surface of that. And I'm also going to try, I think instead of blowing on it, I'm going to use a straw to blow on it. I do see some cells. I probably overpainted myself again, which is something I tend to do, add too much paint. But I do see those cells, so I'm going to stretch them out a little bit right here, right now. No idea how this is going to turn out. Patterns are pretty cool, pretty cool in the paint. All right, so I'm going to pull this over. And let her rip. Now I've got some more. And I don't see why I shouldn't try and use it all, because that'll teach me a lesson, if nothing else. probably could have added a little more paint onto that and let it rip too. I know I'll do something with it no matter what. I got some great cells. That's going in the bucket. Because I expect to use that again someday. Now that white might, might cause me a problem. In the meantime, I've got edge catchers, such as they are. I kind of wish I hadn't added that last, that last paint. 
but it might change my mind yet. So I do have some cool patterns. I just really wouldn't mind having some more paint. And I guess I have some more paint, so let's just do that, you know? It's an experiment. Let's do that. Let's experiment. We got some great colors. I could have probably blown, blown that around a little bit too. This is going to be a lot about negative space. Any paint that goes over my edges I can always rescue with a spatula. I have Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas like that little number one. And I also have Oxo Omelette Turning spatulas like the one that I used on the black paint. Now when I get enough paint on my edge catcher, I can lift it up and I can use it. Some little gnat keeps landing on my arm. I'm not, not in love with this yet, but um, I'm also not done and I have bottles of paint and chain and stuff. And look, the paint that I rescue off my edge catcher is absolutely cool. And you can stop. <laughs> Just keep going, little, little bugger. Literally. That one might not have been a safe bet. So do I see anything I want to add there? I kind of want to cover up the rest of this white. Let's just... Get down and get funky. Be a little strange. Because I can, that's the name of my first book that you can find under the link tree on the Amazon link on the first list. I think I'm going to have to grab some of my favorite blue. Actually, why don't I use some of this other blue so I don't run out of my favorite blue. It's also a metallic and I think it'll be nice. I'm really tempted to just have my way with things. As in, grab a little chain. going to let some of that paint fall right down over the side and cover it with that chain. I just annihilated some cells I really liked. Now the reason I waited until I had some stuff in my chain to come over to this blue is because I like the combination. Just makes me want magenta. I'm not sure I'm in love with this at all yet, but um, I guess there's always tomorrow if I want to fix it. I also don't give up easily, so don't trust me when I say I'm done. Not that I'm going to say that anytime soon, because I'm not. Definitely wish I had skipped adding that last white. It does make me want some magenta. And to tip. The nice thing about the white is it melds well with other things and creates new layers. All I keep thinking is orange for some reason. I need something bright in here. I do keep putting a lot of paint in the center of my circles, which is okay because I use GAC 800 by Golden. It doesn't matter how heavy my paint is. It won't, uh, it won't crack. I'm sure there's some exception to the rule, so if you're going to quote me on that, just remember there are exceptions to every rule. I'm hating it less, or I'm liking it more, <laughs> one way or the other. It was an interesting start, and definitely an experiment that I'm going to do again, now that I've learned a few things about it. 
I've got that magenta. I kind of want some black. I don't think I got any out. And I'm sure I shouldn't tip. Guess what? <laughs> So I've got a skewer and everybody's waiting for me to do that. Let's use the blunt end. I'm not sure what I put that magenta in there for. I'm not sure about anything yet. I'm certainly not done, that's for sure. All right, I've got another magenta I like even more. And I'm really tempted to go ahead and grab, what have I got? I've got swipe cards, so let's see what happens when I'm willing to swipe. If I'd have used a little enamel in there, I probably could have got some more cells popping. I love what the edge of the swipe card does. I also want to remind you guys, if you have circles and you don't think they're round enough or you want something to change about them, use the dull end of your skewer to round them out. Because it pretty much works like a charm. You can even make something that's sideways into something that's round. I'm still not super thrilled, but it's it's kind of interesting. I mean, it's just not what I wanted yet. Okay, time to go back to swiping. Let's see if I can use a little uh, a little enamel and see what happens. Let's use the clean side. There's so many cool things that are going on in there as far as cells go already. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, I might have a fail, but it won't be epic, I hope, <laughs> yet. I'm just going to wipe off my card and any dripping paint on the edge of the canvas. And I'm going to do what I said I was thinking about. And I'm going to throw that orange in there, not just there. But everywhere everywhere I'm inclined to throw it, actually. Just blend it in. Continuing to use the dull end of my skewer, because I'm brazen like that. That's a little better. I'm not as unhappy as I was. So I'm thinking... Something else has to happen here to make me happy. And Getting closer, I just haven't arrived. This is an odd shape here. Let's make it odder. Let's just have way too much fun. Let's do something completely unexpected that I've never done before and make something spectacularly cool. We hope. Just call me Spike. <laughs> and that was too much fun. It might not have been what I intended to do to begin with. I left all kinds of cool stuff in the background. And 
and I'm still having too much fun with my massive paint. Definitely not a spiral, but really kind of cool. I want some purple right down here and a little more purple with it. Because honestly, as long as I'm just jamming a skewer in there, I can do whatever I want. And that includes whatever I want. I think I'm going to take that purple paint off, which is really very gray, and cover my edges. That is a 24 karat gold with some orange in it. It's not bothering me. And I will, again, cover my edge. And I really think I could put some magenta in there. But since this is my favorite color, and I'm probably going to, I have like no time left, so you guys check the link tree out underneath the video. It's got Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, links to Facebook where you can find shop now on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. I'm really liking this. I want some more black. So I just basically broke out of my my stuck place and went someplace completely different. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link, underneath show more, underneath the link tree. I like the black there too. I want something in here, I'm not sure what. I think that's it right there. So we got some cool stuff showing through from the background. I'm just barely touching. You could probably do this and then tip. I wish my pink was open. So that was fun. At least for me it was. I love you guys. I never wet butted my cloth. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind and uh, share my videos. Check for 1360 videos on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Priscilla Batzell under Creative Playlists. Only thing I'm thinking is that I wanted some much brighter pink and I didn't use it, so why don't I go ahead and give myself permission for that? And I will see you guys anon. Check the community board for tomorrow's video. And I left a link on the link tree for the community board, so you can always find it now. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a Facebook group where you can find other students. Yep, now I'm going out from the center. Now it looks more like one of my starbursts. But uh, I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to remove that limp, excuse me, that loop. I got one minute left. I don't think I should expect too many patterns. I know this is bizarre, but I kind of like it anyway. If in doubt, skewer it out! And anything you see before you torch for too long, it needs to pull, just pull it. There you go. Pull it, push it, drag it, whatever you want. That one too. Strange burst. I really totally want something in the center. So it looks like it has a center somewhat. Not that I wanted that before, but I do now. Sort of a failed experiment. Still exciting and fun for me. I will see you guys in on this is Priscilla Batzell at Spring, in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Pulling a skewer through everything. Alright, I'm going to stop myself now before I destroy anything that's really cool about the...